Hello, I'm Will Spangler. I'm a conservation project manager with the Gold Ridge Resource Conservation District. And I'm going to demonstrate how to take a depth to groundwater uh, monitoring reading in a domestic well. We're going to start uh, by getting our equipment, arranging access to the well where we, where we will be doing the monitoring. And the first thing you want to do is plan to take your measurement after a period of non-use of the well so that it reflects typical groundwater conditions. So ideally that's after 10 to 12 hours of the well not being used, either with the pump being turned off or no, no use of the well. Um, but we can, we can monitor after as little as two hours um, as well. So uh, that's the first step. And then once you've identified the location and the time of when you'll take the measurement, um, I'll, I'll get out my acoustic sounder measuring device that has a cap that protects the uh, protects the end of the instrument. Um, I keep that in a bag to keep it safe as well as with a vice grip and a ratchet set which will help me gain access to the wellhead um, so that we can we can take a measurement. Okay this one has the four bolts that secure the wellhead and it has a sampling port. Uh, most wells are equipped with a sampling port with some variety of ways that it's plugged. This one is a vented sampling port with a copper vent and it's a threaded fitting in the port. Others will have a plastic threaded fitting, fitting port, others will be metal. Um, there's a variety of these, but it's essentially, it's the sampling port, it's offset generally from where the electrical goes through to the well pump. Uh, mine was hand tightened so I can hand loosen it, but this is where the vice grip or ratchet set might come in handy to do. I take that off and I set that aside. I take the protection cap off of the uh, acoustic sounder monitoring device. And I place that inside the sampling port and I hold that level. The key here is to hold it level and to hold it within, within the well itself through the sampling port. Um, sometimes the sampling port might be blocked or something, you don't have to raise it up. But um, in this case, I can put it inside. And so I do that and I hold it the best that I can level. And I'm gonna take several readings to get a good number. So first I'm gonna hit the, hit the power button, which is in this case causes us to get a reading. You'll see here that the level uh, is 57.9 on the first time. I'm gonna press it again. 57.9 feet the second time, and I'll do a third for good measure. 57.9 feet. So I'll record that value. Um, and we'll do that in a moment, but first I'll take this out. Uh, always important, replace the sampling port cap. I'm gonna hand tighten that, because that's how I found it. Um, place the cap over the device and record that value, which is the depth to groundwater. Um, that's, that's how we use the sounder. It's actually quite simple. And once you get the hang of it, it just takes a matter of minutes when you, when you do it at the right time, after a period of non-use, when you shut off the well or aren't, aren't using the water source, um, bring the acoustic sounder, you open that sampling port, you take several readings. Um, in this case, this device I found sometimes has an error reading if it's at an angle, so I hold it level and, um, and record those results. Thank you for tuning in and good luck with water level monitoring.